and welcome to your Go Market Update for Monday the 6th of June 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, on Friday, we saw US equity markets close the week lower after a week session. And really, it was the strong jobs data that came across the wires an hour before market kickoff with the non-farm payrolls, big expectations. What this does is it gives us a green light to the Fed becoming more aggressive with its interest rate hikes over the coming months. Don't suspect that it will have a major impact. But we also saw energy prices moving higher as well, which put additional pressure on sentiment. US futures are trading very mildly positive in early Asian trading, just above neutral. And Asian indices are following that weak US lead in early trading. Losses aren't significant with the ASX off around 0.3%. European futures are actually pointed to a higher open at this stage. US dollar index bounced off support following that jobs data. Gold remains range bound and dropped to trade around that 1850 level. And as we said, oil spiked up again and is hovering just over that 120 level. It's about 122 on the Brent CFD contract this morning. Copper retraced a little and is back around the 450 level and the VIX bounced off that 25 support level. Bitcoin remains around that 30,000 level that we seem to have been talking about for weeks. And on the data front, Chinese services PMI is the major data point in an otherwise quiet day. It is, however, a busy week with things ramping up. Tomorrow, we've got the RBA interest rate decision and a plethora of data throughout the week, which could have market influence culminating in Friday's US inflation numbers. We did see a slight pullback in last month's figures, but we need to see a continuation of that for markets to feel more comfortable. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're going to start with the GB pound Canadian dollar. And we've put it on a weekly chart just so you can see long term context and how important this 158 level is that you see on this blue line here. If we bring it to the daily chart, you can see that we have broken through this 158 level and in fact are down near 157 in early Asian trading today, continuing that move we saw on Friday. If we look on the hourly chart, uh, you can see we've got a short term descending triangle formation looking to see if we've got a potential move below this again. 157, I would suggest, is a key level. And if we break through this, this could precipitate some more selling. On the ASX, obviously, the energy sector is doing well. Whitehaven Coal particularly noticeable on Friday with this break through 525, a really strong move higher. We've got some continuation of that near 550 in this morning's trading. If we get a further move higher, we could see it up around $6 in the medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.